What's up guys, I'm Brian Sakawa. you're watching He Spoke Style, and today we're talking all about pant lengths. So I wanna start by addressing the biggest question when it comes to pant lengths, and that is, what is right? So when it comes to men's style, and especially details like this, I always feel like there's this desire to know the rules, what is perfect, or what is the right way to do something. And yes, there are some rules that govern men's style, but I'm here to tell you that you should treat those rules merely as guidelines, and that there really is no perfect, one-size-fits-all way to do something or answer to any of those questions. What it really comes down to is two things your personal style, and your body type. So having said that, let's take a look at the four most common pant lengths, types of breaks, and which one might be the best fit for your personal style. Up first is no break. Now, this is the most modern, fashion forward, and aggressive length for your pants. This is a style for skinnier guys. This is a style that actually looks really good on shorter guys. And this is a style for guys who are very confident in their own personal style. Now, one very important thing you have to pay attention to if you're gonna wear your pants with no break is that in order for them to look proportionate, the leg needs to be tapered. If you don't taper the leg, it's going to look like your pants are just too short. And a good leg opening, I would say, again, it depends on your body type to some degree, is around seven to seven and a half inches. Now, I personally gravitate towards a no break look because I like the clean line it creates as the fabric drapes down to my shoe. The second length we're taking a look at is the slight break. If no break and having a more tapered leg is a little too fashion forward for you, but you still wanna be a bit contemporary, a slight break is the way to go. Now, with a slight break, you're still going to want to taper the pants, and this tends to look best with a plain bottom trouser, so no cuff, and with the hemline being tapered so that the back hangs a little lower than the front, which should just kiss the top of your shoe. Now, this is a great look if you really care about tailoring and want to look up to date, but not trendy. Next up is the medium break. Now, this is the most conservative, middle of the road pant length. This is for the regular guy who's serious about clothing that fits right, for the more conservative businessman, also if you're carrying around a few extra pounds, and basically if you do not feel comfortable with a more modern approach to tailoring or don't necessarily want to call attention to your style choices. If you fit into one of those categories, going with a medium break is the perfect option for you. Finally, we have the full break. Now, this is a particular kind of look and your pants need to be wider if you're going to wear them this length. This is a style that is typically thought of as something for an older man. You see it a lot on guys who like to dress in a more vintage style and it actually is a really good option for heavier set guys as well. Now, I am none of those things and you may be wondering why I have a pair of pants with a full break. So, these pants are from my Edward Sexton bespoke suit and although, as you know, I don't normally wear my pants this length, I think if you're gonna do bespoke from a legendary bespoke tailor, that you really should always choose the house style. You know, why go to a tailor like that and have him make you a suit if you're not going to embrace some of the details and nuances of what they're known for? And to be honest, I wasn't expecting to like the pants this long, but I really do love how elegantly the fabric falls and how long it makes my leg look. So those are the four pant lengths that you'll most commonly see and a little bit about which one looks best or is the best fit for certain kinds of people. Now remember, there is no right or wrong when it comes to the length of your pants, but you really need to consider your personal style, your body type, and honestly, your confidence level if you're going with no break or a slight break. As always, leave your comments below and let me know which videos you'd like to see in the future. Please consider giving this video a thumbs up if you found it useful and be sure to subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching guys and stay tailored.